what is it that you think you can do um, for the working mothers of District 23 to help them with the struggles that they have with childcare? So first, let me tell you, just from as a matter of my perspective on this, I've seen it from each angle and from various socioeconomic uh, positions, just personally. Right. So right out of law school, my husband was a resident. He was working 100 and maybe figure back in that day, 120 hours a week, and he was maybe making 30 grand a year, okay? And I was just out of law school. So I had to work and I was working full time and my son had to go, I had a baby and he had to go to daycare. There was no choice, it just had to be that way. So I've done that. I have also tried working part time uh, with, with children and I've also stayed at home. I've done all three and actually the hardest thing to do is work part time because you end up working full time anyway, except for you just don't get paid full time. Exactly, yes. But to me, this is a very multifaceted problem. It isn't just about um, working moms. It's just in general, what do we provide as a social safety net for our people and what do we value? So for one, I support Medicare for all. I support a $15 minimum wage. I support paid family sick, paid medical and family sick leave. I support unions. I support, you know, I support living in a world where people can afford to stay home with their children and get subsidized to do so. I, I wanna live in a world where preschool and childcare are things that we want to provide for people. Um, so it's, I would venture to say that my entire platform in one way or another addresses these kinds of issues of economic injustice.